This is cheap, easy to build, modular and indestructible trainer for practicing as beginner. With this design I'm not worried about breaking my wings or fuselage at all. This saves money and frustration. It's also easy to fly with enjoyable slow and low flybys. And eventually cut in some grass, if you really want. Additionally to my main UAV, which is currently flying in the living room, I made this trainer for practicing and manual flights. So let's have a look how it's built up. It can look ugly, but it's just a trainer. I'm still planning to wrap it with some color tape later on. The main advantage of this design is the flexible wing mount. What it means, when I hit something, the wing will detach, fly off or bend and flex. If it was rigid and I will hit something, the impact will go through your mounts of the wings to your fuselage and uh, potentially break something. So the entire wing is mounted on this uh, wooden profile, which is the fuselage, which is also really rigid for these purposes. And there is a wing mount, like 3D printed part with uh, rubber bands. And it's really flexible. When I hit something with the wing, no problem. It will just flex. And because I made it self-centering, it reverts back to its position. And uh, when it's flying, it just, um, it's basically like rigid enough to hold uh, on uh, its position. But you can see, I have no problem to just hit it. The wing mount has a groove over the edges. So basically when I hit something and the wing goes uh, sideways, then it will revert to its original position and self-center. By the way, if you are curious why this wing is uh, looking so shitty, it's because it was all flat. Then I decided to make polyhedral, so I cut it the foam here placed a banded aluminum profile, glue it on, uh, put some Gorilla glue and tape it over so it's uh, now foamed up and it's really hard. I also made the decision to place my servos and control horns on the top of the wing instead of the bottom because if they are on the bottom the probability to hit them and damage them is way higher. The wing construction itself it's an arming wing from Experimental's airline technique. The V-tail is just two pieces of Depron glued to these plastic holders, which are screwed to the wooden profile or call it fuselage. So if I break it, I will just unscrew it and replace. For servers, I also 3D printed this holder, which is screw on. So anytime easy replacement. And now for the electronics. If you want to build really, really cheap trainer, this is probably it because almost everything is from AliExpress. The motor is 2212, 1400 kV with APC prop 9x6. In my case, the battery is DIY battery pack from lithium ion cells. It's 3S, 2500 milliamps and maximum discharge current is 20 amps. The flight time with this battery is about 20 minutes. For the motor I have 40 amp ESC that can support maximum 4S battery. I am using ELRS system for my RC link. So here's my controller which is Matek Crossfire to PWM with ELRS receiver. I also recently added this gyro to keep the plane stable and help especially when it's windy. And it's all about it. Even though it's really cheap, it's really reliable and flies really well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, leave a like and I will appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel. Take care and I will see you next time.